Hi, it's Ingrid from Ingrid Creates and I've been really looking forward to doing this video today. Um, it's about nail art and I was inspired by one of my friends this morning from Facebook who put a video on my wall about some nail art designs. It was just lovely that she was thinking of me and I thought, well, the least I can do is share doing a video about some nail art. So I decided to do some roses um, because I know that Arlette does china painting and I thought that it would be a great way to sort of combine the two passions that I have, which, or well, it's three really, um, roses, china painting, nail art, um, prettying up things, so that makes it about four. Um, and so the main inspiration came from the hair piece as well that's in my hair and the only reason why I'm wearing that is because it's a really humid day today and this is actually my natural hair, it's curly, it's not straight. So um, let's just try and combine all the things together and just make something out of it, which is some roses on um, nails, doing nail art. This is the nail design that I've done so far on my left hand and you can see that um, here I've popped a row of rhinestones across a half of my nail on the diagonal like a French um, diagonal done and I've done one rose in the middle, uh, another of the diagonal with the rhinestones and just a little design uh, on the end and just to show you also that I have done the uh, right hand as well with a rose. So I've got just one more coat of um, blue to put onto the diagonal French uh, tip. And the reason why I've done it on a diagonal instead of just across um, the halfway mark is because I've got natural nails so they're not as long as um, some of the other designs uh, would better suit. So that's two coats of the blue and um, a midi blue underneath because the other blue that I've popped on top is a really transparent colour and I wanted the blue in the nail polish to match the top that I'm wearing. So we'll let that dry and then we'll pop on some glitter. Next we've just got one coat of blue glitter. You could use pink, I was thinking of using pink but um, I know I ended up using the blue instead. And we'll let that dry. Next I'm going to paint the leaves and I'm just using a an angle brush, a quarter inch angle brush. And I'm using acrylic paint uh, to paint these designs on with because I actually have tried doing them years ago in um, just using nail polish and a quarter inch angle brush and it doesn't work as easily. So I'm just undercoating uh, the leaves and I'm trying to make sure that I've got the same design as well as painting it so that you can see what I'm doing. So I'm just underpainting the basic leaf there. Sorry if I'm a bit shaky. We'll just let that dry and I'm just going to put the second coat on the last petal and I'll finish those leaves off with some uh, gold liner paint. You could just use normal gold paint. This is a nail polish and I'm so glad that I've been able to find these. And we'll let that dry. I'm just showing you on paper first um, the basic structure of this rose before I do it on my nails because I think you it's going to be really difficult for you to see most of what I'm doing because I'm painting uh, with my other hand. But pretty much what you do, and I'll demonstrate with my left hand because my right hand will um, cover the uh, design and I did use my left hand to paint my right hand. Um, firstly you need to just start off with a stroke um, that starts in the middle and that's the middle petal, um, which is this one here that I've done. Then you've got the first one and then you do a second one next to it, which is that one. 
You then do a third one, which is that one. And then we've got one, two, three at the back. We've got another one and another two on the side. And then you've got one at the base and one that sort of fills the gap in the middle there. So I'll just um, show you that part. So that's the first one in the middle, the second one on that side, the third one on that side. I'm a lot slower with my left hand than what I paint with my right hand, but this is actually now turning. Uh, you've got the four at the top, that one there, one at the bottom, and I can't turn my page around to show you, but, and then there's one uh, at the base there, and then just fill in the middle. That's exactly what I'm going to paint on my nail, so that I'm undercoating um, the colour of the, the rose, and so that it matches the one on the other hand, I'm uh, painting it facing uh, towards the bottom. So I've just blocked that rose in. I might actually add a little bit of white to that because it's gone quite um, transparent with that magenta colour. So I'm just blocking it in with a, a lighter pink. All right, and we'll let that dry. Okay, now I've just started to um, add the next layer of detail and you can see that I've copied exactly the same or I've gone over exactly the same brush strokes as I have um, just before. So I'll just show you on the paper first before I do it on my nail. And uh, these will be the three middle ones. So I'm just painting the um, middle one first. Like I said, please excuse my wobbliness and whatnot. It is my left hand that I'm painting with. And I'm also trying to be considerate that you can see what I'm doing. Um, Okay, now we'll just go to the bottom one down here and I've just squished that out. I'm not doing a very good job painting uh, for you on the camera, but you'll see when I do it on my nail, it'll um, work out a lot easier. So I've done all the outside ones and now I'm going to start filling in the inside petals. And I'm doing more of a flat opened rose because my nail doesn't have actually enough space to paint lots of um, layers. So that's essentially all that I'm doing uh, on my nail. So that's the amount of work that I would pretty much uh, do. I don't know whether you can see it on that one. And there's the other one there. And because they're so small, so long as you've got the um, the two uh, basic elements of doing your rows, one is that the center is quite deep in color and that you've got some highlight bits. a little bit too pale. Keep 
keep in mind that this is not the natural way that I would be painting. It's just I can't see what uh, I'm doing so that you're able to see what I'm doing. But that's just how it goes. Now I am going to fill the middle up with um, some extra decorative bits so it's going to cover up some of these shonky uh, petals. It's really humid in here and the paint's drying really strangely on my nails. I think that's probably it that's going to hold on my nails. I'm very wary that my nails are very tacky underneath. Underneath this layer that is. And I'll just fix that petal and that's, that'll be it. Okay, then we'll add some centers. For the centers, uh, I've just added some gold dots with the gold paint and using a stylus, I'm actually gonna add some burgundy or some of the magenta ones back in there as well, just to re-deepen that area. And so that they don't look so blotchy, I'll then just blend a bit of the gold nail polish uh, onto it as well. So I'd let that dry for um, about 10-15 minutes. Don't use a hairdryer on it to set it because it'll make all the underlayers really um, tacky and hot. And I'm just going to go over the gold just on those again. Um, and then your nail polish when you put it on for the final coat, it'll go... Um, uh, it just won't brush on properly and it'll crack and um, just basically muck up all the other layers. So there is the finished rose and there are my finished nails. I hope you enjoyed that video and if you have any questions please ask at the uh, bottom of the video or um, I'll give some more drawings and things like that uh, on the blog post. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye!